Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the equivalence of the two finite automata. The meaning of the equivalence of the two finite automata is that if we have been given two uh, finite automata, we have to check if the two finite automata accepts the same language. So uh, there are some rules that needs to be followed. So better is that we uh, take some example and based on those examples only we try to understand what the rules are. So let's start. Okay, so uh, let's take the two automatas and uh, let's decide if they are equivalent or not. So let's say that we have this automata in which the initial state is Q1 and the Q1 is final state also. So there are three states in this automata, Q1, Q2 and Q3 and the transitions are shown like this. There is another automata, let's say that is the second automata and uh, we have the Q4 state which is the initial state and final state root. So the transitions are shown like Okay, so uh, with the with the respect to the two automata, we'll perform some computations. And the very first computation is we have to see <clears throat> if the initial state uh, is the final state in first automata. Let's say this is A1, which is representing automata 1. And this is A2, which is representing automata 2. Then we'll say that if Q1 is the final state in the first automata, Q1 is the start state and the final state in the first automata, and Q4 is the start state and the final state in the second automata, then we can go ahead with the computations. It means that if in the first automata, if the start state is the final state, in the second automata also, the start state should be the final state. So this is the first thing that we need to perform. And uh, we'll perform the rest of the things like this, which is the rule two. And uh, we'll take the pair of these states. So I'll start with these initial states, Q1 and Q4. And let's see the transition of Q1, Q4 on the symbols C and D. So C and D are the two symbols uh, which are there in uh, the alphabet set of both the automata. Hence, I'll show the transitions from C and D only. So we have to see the transition of Q1 with C. So you can see that the transition of Q1 with C remains at Q1 and transition of Q4 with C remains at Q4. Now Q1 is a final state and Q4 is also the final state. It means everything is good. Let's move ahead with the transition with Q1 with symbol D. So Q1 on D moves to Q2 and Q4 on D moves to Q5. So this, these pairs, if you see these pairs, Q2 is non-final state, it means the intermediate state and Q5 is also non-final state, it means it is the in intermediate state. So if both are the final states or both are the intermediate states, this is fine. It means we can go ahead. So if I find any discrepancy, for example, if one is the final state and the other one is the intermediate state, it means the two automata cannot be equivalent. So I'm taking the another pair, which is Q2 and Q5, which is a new pair, which has got generated from row one of this, this computation. So now Q2 on taking a small c moves to Q3 state and uh, Q5 on taking D moves to Q5 on taking Uh, we, are we are seeing actually the transition to the C. So Q2 moves to Q3 and Q5 moves to Q6. 
So Q3 is the intermediate state and Q6 is also the intermediate in the second automata. And now Q2, Q5 on taking symbol D. So Q2 moves to Q1 and Q5 moves to Q4. So both of these are the final state in their respective automata. So that's why there is no problem. The new state which has got generated is Q3, Q6 or pair which has got uh, generated new that is Q3, Q6. So I'll see the transition of Q3 and Q6 here. So now Q3 on taking a symbol small c moves to Q2 and Q6 on taking c moves to Q7. Now Q2 is the intermediate state in the first automata and the Q7 is the intermediate state in the second automata. It means everything is fine. Q3, Q6 by taking the symbol small d Q3 remains at itself and Q6 also remains at itself and both of these are the intermediate states in their respective automata. So there is no discrepancy. We can move ahead. The new uh, pair of the state that we have got from here is Q2 and Q7. So now let's see the transition of Q2 with the symbol small c that moves to Q3 and Q7 on taking the symbol c moves to Q6 and both of these are the intermediate states. So there is no discrepancy. Now Q2 on taking D, it moves to Q1 state and Q7 uh, on taking the symbol D. Okay, so this was actually left out. Q7 on taking the D symbol, it actually moves to, this is, this is wrongly given, it is like this just the opposite. So Q7 moves to the state number Q4 and uh, hence the Q4 is the final state and Q4 is also the final state. So Q1 and Q4 both are the final states. So since both of these are the final states, so there is no discrepancy. It means I can move ahead and uh, let's see if any new pair has got generated. I think no. So since there has been no discrepancy in this computation, I can say that the automata 1 is equivalent to automata 2, it means that both of these accept the same regular language. Now, when we are computing the uh, equivalence of the two automata, the two rules that we follow, one is that if the initial state is the final state in first automata, then the initial state should be the final state in the second automata also. The second rule is that we will start our computation from the initial state in the A1 automata and the initial state in the uh, second automata and we will see the transitions with every input symbol in the alphabet set. If the pairs that we have got generated are the in intermediate state and intermediate state or final state or final state, there is no discrepancy and we should go ahead. But if we find that the pairs that has got generated, one of which is the intermediate state and the another one is final state. It means the automata are not equivalent. So we will follow this rule for a uh, few more questions and we will try to understand if the given two automata are equivalent or not. So let's move to the next lecture and we'll try to understand with a new question. Thanks for watching.